As one of the world's biggest auto companies, General Motors has been leading the charge on what shape the future of the car will take. This week at CES in Las Vegas, GM is unveiling its newest electric car, the Bolt EV. But it's also announced a big bet on another car business. The company has made a $500 million investment in transportation startup and Uber competitor Lyft. GM's chairman and CEO, Mary Barra, talked to TechCrunch about their plans for autonomous cars and more. You have uh, kicked off this week with pretty interesting news with Lyft, um, massive investment that you've taken in them. Um, you want to take us through a little bit of what, what's the thinking behind doing that? Well, we see that there's a great uh, synergies between the two companies. And when you look at what Lyft brings and then the expertise that General Motors has and the technology and, and working on autonomous, we think it fits together uh, very well because we believe as we go forward, the first autonomous vehicle will be in a use case uh, of sharing as opposed to an individual driver. And then you put on top of it the OnStar connectivity, the fact that we can support uh, with from a rental hub perspective. There's so many synergies. And we also found company-wise um, very common shared vision of the future. So we're really excited. And do you think that you need to look to a company like Lyft to do, or do you think General Motors could do something like that itself as a standalone business? Well, I, I, think, I think the key thing is we think working together with a shared vision, we can uh, put it into the marketplace quicker and get yeah. you know, that kind of service to customers more quickly. And that's what we saw is a real opportunity. On the subject of the sort of self-driving car, you know, at what point do you think we'll start seeing those well, hit I, the market in any yeah. realistic form. I think when you look at the cars today, when you look at uh, some of the vehicles and all the technology that we have, it's all enablers to, to, uh, to full autonomous. So I think in the next couple years, uh, you'll continue to see that advance at an extremely rapid pace. I mean, at General Motors, we have committed that by the end of this year, we will have uh, an autonomous fleet at our Warren Tech Center, which is about a mile square campus. So I think it depends on how you define it, but I think it's going to advance very rapidly. How are you finding the interface with government on that subject? I mean, you know, there are a lot of safety issues with self-driving cars. Well, I think there's a lot of, of, of challenges and issues to be addressed, but I think the conversations I've had, uh, you know, with our, our agencies, they understand that it, it gets to a safer place as well. And so I think it's going to be really about collaborating and working together, and that's really the, it, at least from the conversations I've had in the United States, um, you know, I see a lot of support. It's got to be mm -hmm. done right because we need to make sure it's done safe, and that's one of the things General Motors is, is very committed to. At TechCrunch, you know, we, we look a lot at the tech world, um, and you know, a lot of the um, sort of moving and shaking that we've seen done in, in the autonomous car space has been from the tech companies. Do you find that to be, you know, um, a threat in any way? Well, you know, I think it's I think it's very interesting, and, and this is such an exciting and dynamic industry. It, it doesn't surprise me that other people are looking at it. Right. But I think the key thing we have to remember with General Motors, we've been in the business of integrating uh, vehicles and doing, you know, award-winning vehicles across many segments. And when you think about the technology that needs to go into the vehicle for successful autonomous driving, it's an integration activity. So again, I, I understand the interest, and you know, I think it just makes it more exciting. Are there other types of areas that you're looking at to partner or invest in, you know, startups. What What is not a core competency for GM? You know, when we look at it uh, with the, the rich capability and the technical talent that we have in the company, I think we look at, you know, where does it make sense to partner either for speed or efficiency from a capital utilization perspective? You know, where are areas that it, it complements and where are areas that are so important we have to do ourselves? Do you think it may ever go to the point where you would want to, for example, buy a company like Lyft and just take it under your wings? Uh, you know, so again, we, we see a great partnership right now and that's what we're focused on and yeah. bringing the two talents together. Okay, thank you so much.